All right, so let's look at some at an example uh, where we have to use the product to sum identities to uh, find the exact value of a trig function. All right, so in in this case, you have you have two trig functions multiplied together, but the two trig functions, their angles are different. So we can use these product to sum identities to to simplify them. All right, so for instance here we got sine A cosine B is equal to one half sine A plus B plus sine A minus B. And then you've got your other trig functions here. You just got to pick out which one you have, okay? Uh, <clears throat> so let's take a look at our example. So here we have cosine times sine and you can see that the angle measures are different and we want to find the exact value. Okay, So if we look over here we've got cosine times sine so you can see we're going to use this identity right here. Okay, So let's go ahead and just write down the formula so we'll have it here. So that's cosine A sine B is equal to one half sine a plus b minus sine a minus b. So that's the that's the one we'll use because we've got cosine times sine. All right. <clears throat> so looking at this, you can see the 67.5 degrees. That's going to be our a and the 112.5 degrees, that's going to be our B in the formula. So all we do now is we just plug these things, these, this 67.5, we plug that in for A, and the 112.5, we plug that in for B. And then we simplify it. All right, so this is going to be 1 half, and that's going to be the sine of A plus B, so that's 67.5 plus 112.5 minus, and then we plug the A and B in here, sine 67.5 minus 112.5, okay. and so that's going to give us one half times the sine and then this would be what 180 minus the sine and this would be negative 45 okay all right so you can see the 180 and 45 that's that's special angles I know we have a negative here but we know the sine of 45 degrees <clears throat> that's one of the special ones that you should memorize all right, so let's rewrite this first. This is 1 half times sine 180. Now, remember your, your negative angle identities. You should have already gone over these if you're at this point in trig. The sine of negative theta is negative sine theta. So if we, the, the negative will come out and come in front of sine. So if we bring this negative out make that positive 45 well that's a negative and a negative well that'll give us a positive sine sine 45 degrees okay. now one half times all right so now we've got what the sine of 180 okay you should know that's zero if you if you can't quite remember just remember if you look at the basic graph of sine x which this is something that you know your teacher should should tell you you should know how to graph this real quick and same thing if you just this is the graph of sine x okay and you should know cosine x also it just goes this way right all right so remember pi radians that's the same thing as that's 180 degrees so we can see sine is 0 at 180 
so that's going to be 0 plus and then the sine of 45 is square root of 2 over 2 and so that's going to give me 1 half times and then that's going to be what square root of 2 over 2 which is square root of 2 over 4 and there's your answer and I hope the video helped uh, this video's degrees the next video I'll have I'll have two examples check out the other one it'll be in radians okay so give me a like share and subscribe and thanks for watching